Okay, <laughs> good evening. Yes, I did have a mental breakdown last night and now my eyes are all puffy and we're just not gonna get into it because I don't like Bear girls when he got stung by a bee. I'm just jumping on here because I am not loving my energy in this part of the vlog. I think I'm just feeling a bit too sorry for myself. It is quite funny when I look back at it now. It was literally yesterday, but anyway, look at this photo of me and then look at the photo of Bear girls when he got stung by a bee. Like, I'm sorry, the resemblance is uncanny. Anyway, my mood improves a lot during this video, so just stay tuned for that, okay. I got back home last night because I get my A-level results today, even though like I didn't even do my A-levels because of corona. Not gonna lie, I don't have very high expectations. I do maths, physics and drama. I'm gonna give myself a B in maths and a D in physics. And then I have to go into school to get my drama results because they're an English board. Okay, right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. Oh, I thought I was gonna really surprise myself and get like two A stars. I mean, C to B. No idea, but I can deal with it. I'm hoping I get an A in drama so then I could say A, B, C. That sounds quite good. I don't really know how to feel because I didn't actually do these exams. So it's not like an accomplishment or really a failure. I am a bit like my physics teacher. You kind of fucked me over. You could have given me a B. Like, what did she get out of giving me a C? Do you know what I mean? Oops, it is now 7 o'clock uh, on the same day. I was planning on vlogging today, but I've done absolutely nothing. Anyway, got my results for drama. She gave me a B. Like, what? She, she told me face to face, I'm giving you an A. So, that was really interesting. It's fun times. I'm not bitter, I'm literally not. Like, it's fine. But, like, if I see my teachers, like, you are going to have to catch these hands. So, but yeah, I have had a bit of a down day. Not going to lie to you, early pops. And I think the best way to make yourself feel better is, like, get up and get ready. And, like, my friends are in town drinking, so I'll probably go meet them for a drink or something. But, yeah, I do want to do, like, a full get ready. Because it just, whenever I get ready, I just feel better about myself. So, that is what we're doing. Okay, so first step is I need a shower because it is a good, like, 23 degrees. And I've been in bed and this dressing on all day. So, the fumes coming from me right now are probably a bit like toxic okay out of the shower i feel so much better already rihanna needed me was playing on repeat i did a full body shave and now that's bringing us into the next bit of the video this bit of the video is sponsored by estrid they are a vegan razor like subscription brand so basically they're the prettiest razors in the entire world they come in this little box they're posted to you so quickly may i add by the way this is a new one my other one's in the bathroom but i didn't really want to show you like my hairy razor <laughs> they come in the prettiest colors i have the pink purple and now i have the peach as well it comes the wee travel case and then this is the razor isn't it so pretty it's like so heavy as well as like proper stainless steel you get refillable razors and then to be honest i think this is the most exciting thing for me you basically put it on your mirror or can you put it on your wall well i put mine on my mirror you just slide it in i'll show you on my mirror later but yeah it's just so aesthetically amazing basically like the whole point of it is it's kind of like the same as men's razors but so much prettier like i have never used girls razors because it's just like a widely known thing that men's are so much better don't really know why but anyway i would literally like steal my dad's which now i think about it it's kind of gross i would definitely recommend Astro. like i feel like literally just get one like get one starter kit and you'll be hooked like you will be getting them forever and it's so well priced it's 7.95 for that full kit like that is the same amount of money you will spend on like one men's razor do you want me to go put it on the wall fine i'll do it stick it there put your razor in i'll turn that light off and isn't that just the prettiest thing is it not do you love it i love it also if you use my code livia n like capital o capital n estra donates one point extra to the faucet society which works for women's right in the uk so we have no choice but to stand okay now on to makeup and hair exciting right let's get stuck into the makeup i'm now really in the mood to go out early on could you tell i was a wee bit down i was a wee bit like oh, feel sorry for me give me attention but now I'm I'm a different bitch. I also did leave every single piece of makeup I own at my flat in London. So I fucked it. I have no makeup. So I have had to seal all my sister's makeup. So if she's watching this, she will literally come into my room and beat me to the pulp, probably. Just sister tings. Luckily she uses the same foundation as me. Got it. So I decided to ask everyone for some questions on Instagram because I was like, I literally have no idea what to talk about. Let's talk about the fact that I got a fucking C in my A-levels. Let's not. Let's actually not. You know what it is? Like, I got five A's in five A's in GCSEs. Like, where did it all, where did it go wrong? Where did I just decline? Do you know what I mean? Oh, someone said, when you offer Love Island. Literally, like, no. Like, it, it, Love Island, contact me. Slide in my DMs. I am, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I've been putting it off for years and now here I am. I will pay Love Island to go on Love Island. I just need that free three week haul. Is it three weeks? It could be six weeks. I don't know. I don't watch Love Island, but I feel like I'd love it. But I'd also hate it because like it is the most cringy thing I've ever heard. And like if some boy was like, can we go for a chat? I'd be like, we can absolutely not do that. Also, right, speaking of Love Island, <laughs> I saw a really funny question. How did you meet Wes Nelson? <laughs> 
So in London, the clubs are like kind of turned into lounges, so it's more like a bar kind of thing. Like it's all like you have to sit at tables and it's all table service, there's no dance floor and all. So me, Lewis, and Flossie decided to go. And like, because it, it's a London club and it's like one of those fancy ones where you have to wear heels and dresses, not used to that. Not used to that. Like I need jeans and trainers on an eye out so I can like properly have complete ability to move about on the dance floor. Heels? Mm, mm, not not about me because it's like one of the fancy clubs there's always like celebrities there but like i literally don't remember a thing because it's fucking free drinks like what free vodka orange all night on top so who expects me to like drink responsibly when it's free do you know what i mean me and Flossie actually got kicked out for being too drunk they like me me and her stand outside and like down bottles of water and then there's like right just leave please you're way too drunk and i was like period so that was really fun um but yeah i woke up in the morning had an instagram story of wes nelson and me so I'm basically, I am a love islander. Oh my god, I literally, I need to get changed. I'm too warm in the dressing gown. Someone also said, do you genuinely not work out or exercise? I don't actually exercise at all. I mean, I would go through phases. Like, over lockdown, I, I did a fair bit, but... It's just not for me. I actually do want to get into it. Like I do, I've got a gym on my building. So I want to like try to build a bum maybe. What's your favorite thing about London? Oh my God, the vegan food. There's a place near me that do like vegan chicken nuggets. Like that is unheard of. Like you can't get that in this country. So like it was a big deal for me to be able to have that. Literally on delivery, but also guys, I've been really struggling with delivery. I've been ordering it every day and I knew it was going to happen. It was inevitable, but like I hope it doesn't continue like this because I will be broke and I'll have to move back home because of my delivery addiction. So I said favourite Rihanna song, obviously. Mm, actually, I don't know, the whole album. I love Needed Me. I love all her songs, but like that album hits different. Like if you haven't listened to Auntie by Rihanna, I'd go listen, like, listen to the entire album. All in one sitting. Someone said, do you see yourself getting back with John? I did. But it seems we're not on the same page. Hence the breakdown earlier. But that's fine. I am coming to terms with the fact that you can't, for someone to be with you. Do you want me to cry? Why do you ask me that? Do you want me to cry? But yeah, no, I'm fine. <laughs> send help, send help immediately. But yeah, I think that chapter has closed, but we're we're fine. We're doing we're doing really, really well, if you can't tell. But you know what? I'm in London now and bigger, better things are coming. Fucking hell, I'm really trying to stay positive if you can't tell. You know what, it's fine. Next question. So I said, are you gonna get any pets of Flossie for London? Now this is actually a bit of a topic in discussion right now. Basically like, I really miss having a dog. And then Lewis is also saying he kind of wants a dog. So we were like, should we get brother sausage dogs from the same litter? Like would that not be so cute? And like imagine just having a wee dog like to walk about London with, like a wee tiny one, like literally a wee miniature one in my hand. But the main thing is I don't want to like leave it on its own lot. And like, I am kind of thinking if it's that small, sure, like it just literally like carry around me all day. Like is it a bad idea to have a dog in London? Would someone like to give me the rundown on that and tell you it's a bad idea or not? But like it is my birthday coming up in September and like I might just have to treat myself and buy a dog and then they'll be best friends. And then at night time I can cuddle my dog when I'm lonely because I'm going to be forever alone. You know my cat, like Tigger, like she like has not been home for so like she goes through these phases where she just disappears for like a week. I'm not joking, like you think I made you like when I say a week, but she's not here for a week. And then she comes back really fat. So I'm like clearly she has a fucking second home. The bitch is cheating on me. I think she's down the road in the corner because there's this woman that always like we have a street group chat and she always sends in photos of Tigger being like, Whose cat is this? She's in my garden and I think she's fucking stolen her. Like, I think my cat's been kidnapped, but like, take her up in it. She'll come home for like a night. She'll give me all the cuddles. She's like teasing me. She cuddles me and then she gets up in the morning late and doesn't return for another like week. Would you ever go back brunette? You know, I do love brown hair and like every time someone, I see someone on TikTok, like on my For You page, dye their hair blonde or brown, I'm like, it looks so much better. But I've done it. I've already gone back to brown and I fucking hated it. And I'm like, it was a lot of effort to get back to blonde. So like, it's not happening again. Watch me say this and then next week I'll be like, okay, I'm going back brown. I'll literally post a video and be like, I went back brown. Oh, what just happened there? Okay, bye. Why did someone ask me, do you have any bruises at the minute? What a strange thing to ask, but no, I actually don't bruise very much. I may be really mentally unstable right now, but at least I don't bruise like a peach. If you bruise like a peach, seriously check yourself before you wreck yourself. Anyway, let's go steal some more makeup from my sister. <laughs> this is what I look like right now. Oh, fucking I wonder why I'm single. Someone asked like what's your experience with pill, the pill? Uh, I've been like on quite a lot of different ones but I went on Kerosene in like February, I, maybe March and it has made me lose a lot of weight because I haven't changed anything, like I haven't changed my diet and I don't do exercise so it must be that, it's like the only thing I changed. Don't know if I'm being dramatic but no I'm not because I weighed myself um, and I fucking hate weighing myself, like I don't like to get into that habit but yeah I weighed myself and realised I have lost a lot of weight. 
from I think from changing pills so like I don't know like that's the really fucking annoying thing about pills like you fluctuate weight so much most embarrassing moment uh, I'd have to say getting kicked out of a club uh, in front of all those celebrities like there was no need for me to do that you know I could have just been civilized but no here we are you can take the girl out of Belfast but you can't take the Belfast out of girl is that the saying who knows what are hard bits about being a youtuber slash influencer probably like the hate like i don't think anything's hard about it and i'm like i hate com ever complaining about it because it's literally like the best show ever like oh my god okay so story time i posted a tiktok and it was like a transition like me before i got ready and then me after i got ready it got posted on one of those like meme pages on instagram that has like millions of followers it got sent to me on dm so i clicked on it and there were like thousands of comments and i was like fun like this is so much fun so i went in the comments and literally not one was nice they were all hate comments and like the wise thing to do would have just been click off ignore it but you know me no nope. i had to read every single one i read every single one i don't know why i did that to myself it is like self-sabotage but it, here we are it was all just like body shaming to be fair i mean i body shame myself on the daily anyway so it's nothing new but when thousands of people are doing it i'm a bit like i might i might Okay, right, I'm gonna go off camera to do my eye makeup because it does take a bit of concentration, but I just use like one of these wee tiny brushes and then any brown eyeshadow, like a wee dark brown one. And, oh, don't really know what happened there. I, well, I was about to burp, but no. My body teases me every time I'm about to burp. It's like the air comes up, then it's just like, no. You, f you thought, bitch. Yeah, I just go like that, like wee wing, and then in the, in the inside. I'm pretty shit on it, so I wouldn't take any tips from me, but I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, right, so I finished my eyes. Bit shit, don't look too close. And then I did my lip combo, which is LA Girl Lip Liner in Natural Cream and Jared Cosmetics in Nude. It's actually my favourite. And then if you're feeling a bit snazzy, I put on the Fenty lip gloss. For hair, I actually was planning on curling it, then I realised I left my curlers in London. Like, I am just the most disorganised person ever. Okay, so this is my hair before. Bit of a mess. Okay, I'm all done. You know what? I think I kind of snapped. At the start of the day, I was looking a bit like Benedict Cumberbatch, and here we are. I kind of popped off. Okay, so he wants an outfit for the day. I got this scarf from Zara. Isn't it so nice? It's a nice to be silk scarf. And then these jeans. Oh, was my fly undone? Who knows? These jeans are from Weekday. They're in the style real. I'm obsessed obsessed with weekday at the minute i've seen it online before but they have a shop in london and i went and i absolutely adore it might be my new favorite shop to be honest i think it's like really like sustainable fashion as well which is always good also oh the necklaces this is from lucky 11 i think the new one and then this one is from urban outfitters oh my god i forgot earrings and there we are all done oh my god wow i feel much better do am i gonna go out? i don't know do i guys it's like half eight should i just call it a night and take my makeup off and go to bed no that would be really, really boring. I'm young. I'm 18. I'm not letting boys <laughs> ruin my fun. I need to go celebrate my good old sane physics. Fucking hell. Why did I bother taking physics? Like, what, what was my thought process there when I was like, let me take physics for A-level? Anyway, it was fun. It's been a journey. It's been a movie. Bye.